Hi there. This is an astrological forecast for Sagittarius for April 2011. And this also applies if you have a Sagittarian ascendant. So my Sagis, this month is going to be about your finances, your relationships and your home. So let's, let's look first at, there's, there's a great deal going on this month in the fifth house for you. And the fifth house is all about your creativity. It could involve self-employment. So for those of you that have got a good business idea or have a business, this would be a really good time for promoting it, for being more assertive with what it is that you want to get out there in the world. It's also a very good time for those of you in the arts, involved in drama, involved in um, music, or, um, writing, all of these um, areas are also very well aspected this month, but you will have to be quick. It's like things are speeding up. Everything about your creativity that you haven't yet explored, so some new ideas, different way of doing things, you're going to be prompted with new information. You'll get intuitive flashes that will come in all of a sudden out of the blue really important to listen to these intuitive flashes. For those of you looking to be married or looking to be in a relationship, don't be surprised if that comes to you this month, or at least the opportunity for that coming to you this month. It's a great time to go out on a date, to meet on a first date with somebody. Um, it's also a really good time to do something beautiful for your home area. I need to talk to you about possibly the most important thing happening this month, which is the change of sign of Neptune. Neptune on the 5th of April goes into Pisces, where it stays until August of this month, then goes briefly back into Aquarius and in February of next year stays in Pisces for many years. Now Neptune rules everything that we can't see. I mean it rules the sea as well, it rules water, it rules gas, it rules oil, it rules liquids, it would rule radiation. Um, it rules all the kinds of things that are nebulous. So Neptune has this nebulous quality, doesn't allow us to see very clearly. But from the higher levels, the wonderful levels of this is it's, it's humanitarian. It's about seeing the world as one, that we are our brothers and sisters, that we really should and could be working together if we wanted that ideal. And of course, for many of us, it really is an ideal. We certainly haven't reached that level here on Earth yet. Wherever Neptune is in your chart personally is where you are probably going to be fooled, where you've had to make sacrifices in your life. What if it's in your third house? Well, if it's in your third house natally, it could mean that you made sacrifices with your education. Or maybe you had to make sacrifices for other siblings around you. On the other hand, it would give you a very creative mind. And if you got involved with the arts in, in some kind of a way, um, you may have done extremely well in this area. So it just depends how it's been used. So now this transit of Saturn for you, Sagittarians, is in your fourth house. So this is very much going to affect your home your home base. For some of you, you may feel it's shifting, like it's not stable anymore. Neptune doesn't give you the kind of stability that you would like. Neptune as well rules water, rules flooding. So it's important with the transit of Neptune in the fourth, hopefully not to be too close to water. Uh, obviously with the terrible, terrible tsunami in Japan, I'm sure many, many people around the world are thinking twice about being close to water. But if it's transiting your fourth house as well in your natal chart, then you need to make, take extra precautions for anything involving water in your home, connected with your home. Um, this too, this transit could make you want to um, create a really beautiful haven in your home space, wherever you are, that you want to create real beauty. Because Neptune does rule is the higher octave of love. Venus is the lower octave and Neptune is the higher octave. So it's about bringing love into your home. Um, you may find that you may have some confusion with parents or family members during this transit as well. So just to be aware of that. But Venus is there this month too. So it really should work out um, quite well. You've got some nice gentle energy going with it as well. 
Pluto in your second, big changes happening with your finances. That's an ongoing thing. You are going through huge transformation with respect to finances and you're needing to learn uh, when it's appropriate to take out debt and when it's not. And this would not be the time to do it. Mercury is retrograde until the 23rd of the month. So try to make sure, and it's retrograde in your fifth house, so I would be very careful with anything speculative. This would not be the month to take big risks. And many of you, being a fire sign, want to take some risks. Many of you are feeling like, oh yes, I might win the lottery or all these things because there's a lot of aspects in that fifth house of speculation. Be very careful. You are playing with fire if you do take a risk that's beyond you. So if you're going to do anything financially, speculatively, make sure it's money that you can afford to lose. Otherwise, really don't bother. After the 21st of the month, the sun comes into your sixth house. Good time to shine a, high, a light on your work and on your health. So if there have been issues that need to be seen to, if you see, need to see a medical professional, if you need to book in and you've been putting it off, good time to do it after the 21st of this month. So there you have it, my Sages. A lot of changes happening. Remember that this Neptune is also coming to square your sun. So there's going to be a lot of things in your life that you're not going to want to see. You're going to have to force yourself to be realistic about them and really try to bring yourself down to earth. I know, Sages, you want to be off on new adventures. That isn't to say you can't have the adventures, but there's quite some completing to be done before you can go safely off into those new horizons that you so desire. So I wish you a great month and I thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.